Hi guys, I hope you're doing well and making great things. Today we will make a Beast 40 Amps AC mains 220 volts AC track dimmer that you can use to control high power mains appliances with Arduino. The things that we need are the triac, a drag driver optocoupler MOC3021, a zero cross optocoupler 4N35. Arduino, I'm using Nano, bridge rectifier, a few resistors. For the snubber network, you need 200 ohm 1 volt resistor and a 400 volt 100 nanofarad capacitor. But at the moment, I did not have 200 ohm resistor, so I connected 4 or 50 ohms 1 watt in series. An AC mains plug or contactor, I'm using a 16 amp socket enclosed in a nifty little box. A prev board to build the circuit. A heatsink. I probably overkill with this massive heatsink, but according to my experience, it is better to overkill a heatsink than to use a smaller one. And especially with these massive currents involved, I did not want to risk anything getting too hot. For wire, I used 4mm copper wires and some tools. I will not go into the theory of how zero cross detection works, but I have compiled very good resources, for example, videos on zero cross detection by great scott and electronoops an excellent and detailed article on zero cross detection by diy bloke on instructables.com and an excellent series of videos by chris that explains triax in details and things like what parameters specified in the triax data sheet actually mean let's get to the build this is the schematic i have soldered the optocoupler track driver on the pref board and made the simple connections. I also made a separate module kind of thing for the snubber network because I was doing some testing and had to plug and unplug the snubber circuit. But you can build it on the same PCB. The build will highly depend on the components you choose. Just be patient and careful because the connections are simple but you don't want to get wrong with this kind of lethal voltage. Apply thermal paste at the back of the track before attaching it to the heatsink for better thermal conductivity. Now the code. The code is inspired by Electronoops zero cross detection project and the main parameter which controls how long the delay will be is valor. It controls the delay in microseconds to switch on the gate after zero cross is ejected. The delay increases by 20 milliseconds until it reaches 5000, after which it gets back to zero to start all over again. If this code does not make any sense to you, go through the resources in the description. What this code does in practice is this. Cool, isn't it? You know what else is cool? Sharing your projects in the maker community and getting your prototype PCBs made professionally. Nothing's better and cheaper than PCB Way, where you can get 10 double layer PCBs for just $5. So go and check it out. Thanks for watching.